Hi guys, Pete here from Peter Walter Coaching. Uh, what I want to talk about in today's video is uh, another life skill, or maybe another value, another way of being, a characteristic, however you want to put it, and that's one of resilience. Now, I think this resilience gets overlooked in people a lot. However, you hear uh, stories about resilience all the time. So, um, let me give an example more close to home for people. So, uh, the best example I can think of resilience is, think of uh, being a parent or... Uh, think of someone else as a parent and think about their, their young child when they start to crawl and and then they go to that stage where they're toddlers and they start to walk. Now, you know, I think I've heard this example before, but I'm just going to rehash it again because it's a great one. I've never ever met a parent who, um, you know, had, you know, I was talking to them and their, and their child was learning how to walk and they and they did it a few times and they fell over and they said, oh, well, I'm going to stop trying now. I don't, I don't think they'll, they'll make it. You know, you, you'd never hear a parent say that or, you know, I don't think I'll, I'll try you know, taught training anymore because, you know, they they fell at it a couple of times, so it's just not worth it. I've never heard a parent say that. They keep on trying and trying. The child is a good example as well because they keep on trying and trying because they don't know what failure is yet. They just think, see things as trying, okay? It's only us adults who, as we grow up, we, we hear about the word failure and we, we attach all this emotion and meaning to it. But I think resilience is just keep trying something over and over again, just like babies learn to walk learning how to, you know, use a toilet and things like that. And another example I want to use with resilience, how it's used and not, hang on, I think my connection's a bit poor. I'll go back. A lot of people have, a lot of people have resilience for other people. Like, for example, they would do anything to get something done for their boss. Uh, they'll do anything for, so, for someone else, pardon me. But when it comes to themselves, their resilience is they, they tend to give up a, a lot easier. So what I'm saying is the resilience you show for others, you know, for your children, for your boss, for family, whoever, show for yourself. So if you're, uh, let's say, give an example, if you're going to university, you know, you wouldn't stop. If you're going to show resilience, you wouldn't stop as soon as you fail at something or you, you come across something hard. If you're building a business, definitely, definitely a lot of business people say that they've made more failures than they've had successes. Um, a good example for uh, failing and being resilient is people who, are, who play baseball in America and they're in the Hall of Fame. You know, to get into the Hall of Fame, you, you need a 30% success rate, So, which means 70% of the time they're failing and they just keep on trying and trying again. So if I could just pass that message on of, of resilience. So I, you know, I used to try and teach it a lot uh, when I was a teacher at school. I think it's a great, great life school. And I, you know, I think kids do have it a lot, but I think it gets lost somewhere. Uh, in that transition to to adulthood, because we get caught up in in other things. But I think if we you know incorporate resilience into our everyday lives and use it for what we actually want, and realize that you know I think I talked about this before, if failures do come along, see them as what they are, just outcomes. You know things the outcome that didn't go how you plan, but it doesn't mean you need to stop. Okay, and it doesn't mean that you are a quote unquote a failure. Okay, so. Yeah, I hope this uh, resonates with you, that resilience is a very good characteristic, a way of being, however you want to look at uh, for success in anything that you choose. I hope you're having a good week, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.